back at the garage part two sap album got me wrong uh, we're in half step tuning uh, just like the previous uh, Allison Chains song that uh, hopefully you would watch and subscribe so you're all on top of this uh, half step tuning we're going to be D flat G flat C flat F flat A flat D flat as usual I'm going to call them out as if we're in standard tuning E A D G B E um, you should know that as usual. Start off with kind of a bar chord across the fourth fret here, and we're going to catch. You definitely want to catch the top four strings, and we're going to plant these two fingers here on the sixth of the A and the D, just trying to play the top four strings. And then we're going to slide to an E major, open, two, two, one, just playing those four strings. And we're going to slide to the two, barring all the way across again, and then four on the A and the D. It's all together. Next we come to a D chord, thumb mute in the top E, open, open, two, three, two, from the bottom E, you're on the two, the B, the three, G, the two. To a power A, thumb mute in that top E again, open, and then two the rest of the way down. And then we're going to slide up to that bar chord we've kind of been using, but now we're going to use tip our finger here to mute this top E. Be on the fourth of the A, six of the D and the G, and you want to kind of press down that all the way so you're catching the B, just playing those four strings. Then back up to this bar chord here now at the fifth fret, doing the same thing we've been doing, but now you're on the E, and on the seventh you're on the A and the D. And then you'll slide back to your opening four. So all together it's going to kind of sound like this. Go back to your beginning, and then you do that same routine again once instead of twice on the second time around. And the difference is, is you're going to go right into the main chorus of the song. Uh, so you'll come up. And I'm going to slide from here to that E. That bar chord here, but now we're going to place this finger down on the fourth, I mean on the third of the G, barring all the way across on the second, fourth, A and D. Take the same formation down to the 5, 7, 7. Repeat. Bring the same formation at the end, back up to the two, bar chord again. Back into your beginning.
Song number two. I think Right Turn's next. That's a pretty simple one. This one isn't too difficult either. It's just a bar chording. Play a couple bar chord songs if you're struggling with them. Just keep playing them, keep playing them, and just get used to pressing that finger down, getting these fingers nice and tight and high up. You want to see your fingers pointing up. Uh, any other questions, comments, please leave below. Uh, if you think I missed something, obviously. Um, any other groups or songs that you're kind of interested in, definitely want to hear some comments. Hope you've subscribed. Uh, Going to be doing a bunch more Alice in Chains songs, so have fun here in the garage as usual.